Hello and welcome to another ProCraft video. Today we're going to have a look at making, by popular request, one of our perfume atomizer kits. Um, here's one of the kits here that you can see all wrapped up in you and in a minute we'll unwrap that and we'll show you what's in it. First of all let's talk a little bit about the kit um, because anyone that knows our business will know that we do sell a few um, wood turning kits that are tube type kits but not many and that's simply because um, we're not much of a fan of them. Um, it is just my personal opinion, that's why we don't sell many pens. We find them a bit limiting, you know, you have to turn a specific size at one end and a specific size the other end, and you're limited in the middle as to exactly what size it can be and what shapes you can make it as well. Um, so what we try and do with um, a lot of the kits is to make them so there's a little bit more involvement for the turner. Um, turning to me is about um, shapes and textures um, and I feel you lose that sometimes a little bit with um, the tube type kits. There's many ways that you can use this kit, um, apart from the way that I'm going to show you today. It depends how brave you are, what wood you've got, um, what your skill level is, uh, what tools you've got and equipment and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to show you a way to do it, um, because we've been asked by someone or a couple of people to say, have you got any instructions? Doing instructions um, for things like this, because it can be used in so many different ways, can be extremely difficult. So what we're going to do is show you a way um, of doing it, and then you can have a play with the kit. You can reuse the kit and take it out of anything that you might have turned that you're not too happy with. But we're going to make a slightly larger project today, uh, with a, a fair size base and a separate top, and show you how we go about doing that. Right, the first bit of advice um, that I'm going to give is not to make the mistake that I made. Um, the size drill that's ideal for this um, project is an 18.5mm drill. And I went and bought this 18.5mm drill, and the shank of the drill is 18.5mm at this end, and I simply don't have a chuck big enough to put it in. So what you actually need to get is one of these, which is a reduced shank drill bit, like that and that will fit in um, a standard 13mm Jacobs chuck, which is what we're going to do in a minute. So, onto the kit. And here is the kit. Um, it's made up of several parts. And of course, if you wanted a purse size kit, to be honest, you could just use it as it is. Um, but there's a top and a bottom that are the sleeves. Um, inside is the spray unit there which is a little screw off glass bottle which can be filled with your perfume. That fits in there and that fits in there like so. Um, now it's important um, that you can actually slide these in and out and in these sleeves are, are little very thin pieces of plastic that enable um, the unit to slide in and out. The fitting on the bottom is fractionally tighter as you can see than the fitting on the top. If you're very brave of course you can do away with the sleeves and actually turn something and fit that directly into the wood. But what you might find is that you get some scratch marks um, around here uh, and around the top where the wood fits on unless it's extremely smooth. But anyway I have a piece of wood mounted on the lathe so let's see how we fit this. I've got my Jacobs chuck on. The first thing I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole just to line up the centre with a 6mm drill. What we now need to do is make sure that we drill far enough in to hold this section here, but we also need to leave ourselves enough to remount and hold this. Um, so we're actually going to measure uh, this here uh, and put a mark on here. I've got some yellow tape because it's easier for the camera to see. So, about the most we want it to go in is about, I would say, about 37 millimetres. So 37 millimetres. Just to that point there. So that's as far as we're going to drill into this section there. Okay. 
So I've drilled into this section with the 18.5mm drill bit. I'm now going to make sure I leave enough on the end that we can remount this end and we don't cut it off too short here. So, by removing the drill bit and placing it on there I can see the very point of the drill is that line there and actually we want to leave ourselves a little bit extra so we're going to mark it just there um, and I'll tell you that that length is 55 millimeters so 55 millimeters for the top section so I've put a mark at 55 mils so I'm just going to mark that off there and then we can look at parting this off and you can see the size of the piece of wood compared with the insert we've got that should enable us to slot that in there and leave enough to hold at this end. The most important thing about this kit is that we get the sleeves in absolutely level. If they don't go in level when the two parts meet up they meet up at a slight angle and it just looks a bit messy. We now put the top section aside and we're going to move along and actually drill the bottom section and the hole for the sleeve on the bottom section and once again I'm just going to put a little six millimeter pilot hole through just to make sure it goes in centered. Once again I've got some yellow tape and the bottom sleeve I'm going to put the bottom sleeve where the main part of the drill starts and I'm just going to leave myself a little bit extra probably I don't know five mil something like that and just mark the end of the drill there and then we know how far we've got to go up into this section and when it comes to this section what I'm actually going to do is take it out of the chuck um, simply because I'm a bit short of the piece of wood I've got here and I'm going to mount it between centres uh, and turn the last bit that will leave a bit of a mark on the bottom it might bother you it might not so it's up to you whether you want to leave it stuck in the chuck there or remount it um, between centres. Leaving it on the chuck will get you a better centre for the project uh, but as I say because this piece isn't particularly long and the whole bit I've started with is a little bit short uh, I'm going to take mine out and mount it between centres. Having drilled that hole what we're now going to do is check the fit of our sleeve um, and it should slot in quite nice and easily with, with your little finger and slot in. Um, if it gets a little bit tight what I recommend just take the drill bit just run it round um, the top just to take a tiny fraction or you could sand it as well if you wanted to just to get a nice tight fit on that sleeve there um, and that actually slots in quite nicely now having slotted that in we're then going to go and get the glass section and check that for a fit now you'll see there's a little a little chrome lip on there and we just need to take a fraction off so that chrome lip sits inside the bottom section there there we are we can see that's working nicely and you can see it's beginning to look a little bit like a perfume atomizer there we go that's ideal so on this part, if my wood had been longer, I'd probably have preferred to leave it in the chuck without moving it. Um, but because I've only got a really, really short section of wood here, I've taken mine out and mounted it between centres. It does mean finishing this end for me is going to be a little bit more difficult. If you leave yours in the chuck, you'll probably find it a little bit easier. Um, so I'm now going to go and turn the shape of this. Um, unfortunately, what I have seen is there is a great big crack down this piece of wood. That's what happens when you buy supposedly proper wood turning blanks um, to use instead of assessing your own wood but anyway here we go
This is the bit of course that you can shape and make um, the piece of wood whatever shape that you want to and this is the bit that I personally enjoy. Um, I've made a fairly basic shape there and of course I've got my homemade bowl sander and I'm just going to finish this off uh, and polish it up um, so we can then concentrate on the top. Well, I did say that when I started this, the piece of wood had a crack through it, I can still see the crack, and a little bit of it, while sanding, has just chipped out there. So I'm going to have to reshape this um, section now, which is um, a little bit difficult, but there we go, we'll do what we can with it. And there we can see that uh, the bottom section is just about finished and we'll just check again the top section for fit there and there we go you can see that's a little bit like a perfume atomizer it's actually quite nice even without the top but we'll carry on with the top part now okay so onto the top section again we need to fit the sleeve inside and we need a good um, fit in there um, and again I've just used the drill just to take out just a little bit by hand. If you've got a 90mm drill that won't be a problem because they'll slot in easily. But you can see that slots in nice and firmly there and I'm actually going to leave that in there because this section is the section that we're going to hold. Unfortunately you can, I don't know whether the camera will pick that up, I'm going to be fighting here with that crack. Um, you can see that crack in the wood there but anyway we'll um, crack on as they say. I've remounted the top and I've used a little nib where I parted it off to make sure it's nice and centred on the tailstock here. Um, I've only just gone in a little bit into the chuck there, but I do need to make sure that's quite nice and tight. That's quite good. And we're then going to shape and polish the top section, and I think we'll go for a, a circular type uh, top on this one. Okay, so I've roughly shaped um, the top section here, and again, this you can do whatever shape you want. I've just checked the measurement on the top there, um, and I've made that just over 28. I'm just checking that the bottom section is slightly smaller than 28, so my top will just sit inside that little lip there. So we'll now just do a few finishing cuts if we can, um, and polish this one up, and then we'll part it off little bit of hand finishing on the bottom and then we'll see it all together. So I'm now going to part this section off and we'll see the whole kit put together. So there we have the top, this little bit needs a little bit of hand finishing at the bottom and again you can see that uh, crack there, but let's see what it's like slotted together. And there we have uh, one perfume atomizer kit.
you need to be able to take the top off like so, spray the bottle and also be able to get that section out there as well. So quite a fun project. Um, it can be quite intricate but at least you can make it or whatever shape and style that, uh, that you want. Well today sadly has been one of those days where everything has been stacked against us. Um, we've got cracks in the wood and I've been fighting against the noise of a tractor in the field next door. But you can at least see uh, that there's the, uh, the finished perfume atomizer kit with a lift off top. There's the spray section in there and that can be taken out and refilled as needed. So I hope that's been a useful video for anyone that wasn't sure quite how to do these. And as I said before, you can make this whatever size and shape you want, but it does lend itself to uh, a dressing table type sized kit. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop us an email and ask. We're always happy to help where we can. Uh, look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.